All right, this week I just found out I got Copilot chat or the Copilot X chat feature. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a GitHub sync uh, to GitHub. So um, right now at work, um, we are moving all of our local repos that are on a UNC path up to GitHub. And basically I'm hitting Alt forward slash and this brings up Copilot. I mean, you can see that little pink square around, I have no code really, or the square pink bracket. That's just showing the context of what it's looking at. And I'm gonna try to code as little as possible for this. Loop through um, each uh, subdirectory and the baster. Cool. And again, with this insert caret, I'm not sure what's going on. Um, Copilot, this insert at caret, not going so well. Check to see if the directory is a git repository. Directory exists and basically is it a dot, does the dot git directory exist? That would work. Um, unfortunately, we already have, um, it, it's a bare repo. Um, while looping through subdirectories, check to see if the subdirectory is a git repo. Handle personal repositories and their repositories. Okay, so, all right, so there we go. We got a little bit of something. Insert a carrot, fail again. All right, um, how can I close this um, cleaner? Just see if, if it thinks there's like, hey, it got a little lazy. Um, see any difference follow the clean code and solid principles and let's see what it comes up with okay well okay i i meant for the code i highlighted all right rewrite this code to use lib it to sharp oh I've done this in the past and it even tells me how to install it. Let's just add that repo. Let's go out um, and add libgit to sharp. Drop it in. Okay. Okay, so we got a couple. Is there a repository to discover. So yes, there is. And that's kind of what I was looking at is we don't have to use is valid. We can say discover. And when we do that, that's really what I was hoping that we do. So if it's null or empty, then at that point um, it is not a good repo. And then I'm now changing up the logic. I said I'm going to do this using libgit to sharp. How can I tell if the repository is a fair repo? Still checking for the folder name. Is Copilot X or Bing Chat better? And then we can kind of play around with. Let's also do Chat GPT. Oh, here we go. That that's the answer I like. So let's take the chat on this one. So here, um, Chat uh, Bing Chat knows. Hey, I can check to see if it's a bear. And um, same thing with Chat GPT. It it's getting the answer I want from the same exact question. So, ah, gosh, like, is it, is this 
worth it? I'm, I don't know. As I went out, um, got my token, I added it to the Windows Credential Manager. To use that, I just need to install the um, Credential Manager. Um, before we get too far, I'm just going to read it in. And I'm just going to use the ID that I put into my Credential Manager. I uh, created a brand new GitHub repo. Um, I need to install um, OctoKit. I have gotten where um, Copilot tells me the repo, to, uh, the new package to install. Check in GitHub if the repository exists. I don't want to check to see if I have a remote. So here, this is looking better. Product header value, my amazing app. It doesn't even show connecting. It just gets right to, hey, read it, which if it's a public repository, this probably works. Okay, so let's change it to checking GitHub if the repository exists or a private repository. All right, great, look at that. So we had a couple things, of course, this is, it's gonna fight with because we're talking OctoKit and this is gonna be my, my password. And this is gonna be the git too sharp. Um, Copilot X is not taking our jobs. <laughs> Is this is just directly uh, so that would be just the name, not the full path. Um, I have nothing up there. I just created this a couple days ago. Create the repository. Is that enough context? Am I just not putting in good enough prompts? I mean, insert care and right arrow to accept. And this is my directory dot. We still go back out here. We refresh. We're looking good. There's still nothing. So I'm going to go out and just run this. This is going to go um, now. It's running. So I didn't put a great message to say what one, but hey, it doesn't exist. Repository doesn't exist. So it's going out and creating them. And now it's done. So now I have a whole bunch of repos out there. Now, nothing's pushed into any of these. So using libgit to sharp, add a new remote. Where are the reference? To the newly created git. Uh, Octo hit repository. Just gonna go and just say, oh, I already have the new repository. Okay. New repository. Oh shoot, no, that's wrong. Okay, but Okay, so it's still got me what I needed. Okay, so insert it here. Please work. Look at that. It did something for once. Okay, so maybe I maybe that's uh, matching what was already there, and I just had to highlight it. But another insert it carrot failure. So keep it coming. How do I get the? Uh, URL from GitHub that and push to from my local repository. Do okay, so let's do this then. Our um, GitHub repository. Eventually, I'll learn how to spell that thing. 
maybe that's my headache is the new repository is what creates the repository no oh that's just like a holder it's not a github repository and now that i'm here and like I said, this should all be broken out into single responsibility principle, split it further, do whatever. So using the GitHub repo, um, oh, actually using my, um, let's get to sharp repository, push to GitHub. I'm guessing that's probably going to be similar. Nope, look at that. Hey, winner, winner, chicken dinner. So I don't know what's happening here with Copilot X. It feels like it's, it just isn't up to date. Like, it, you'd think it'd be smarter if it had context to the code you're working in. So I'm, it looks right now that um, ChatGPT uh, using uh, OpenAI's um, interface here seems to still beat Copilot X, which really bummed because, you know, I liked that insert at carrot. I, I feel like there's so much potential there. Just got the URL from up there. And we're going to push. Okay, I get it's only pushing that one branch. Uh, set remote. Um, oh, where the um, remote name is GitHub. No, I don't want to add. Okay, so how do I get the existing remote? So another thing, it just doesn't know about my local context as well as I wish it did. How do I push all the remote? We keep running across where Pilot X is just not playing nice. And my remote is. So I did a lot of the cheating beforehand, but I haven't really looked at it too much. I did this earlier in the week. Um, and so I, I have a GitHub sync that I wrote that goes out, handles passing in parameters, goes out, creates um you know so you pass in path organization your credentials um i validate that you pass in the right stuff if not um oh this isn't even the latest um but yeah so i mean we fought through it we were probably 80 percent there of course the code let's um let's try to clean up some of this stuff even though it's not working refactor oh, hold on to scroll or you know refactor uh this code is um solid and so it's okay so it's telling me so um uh, can you show me the code um, that is refactor. It's great that it told me the steps. And if I was a really a junior developer, that, that might help. I, I I'm being sold that this can do that. I, mean, I expected so much more. Um, the context it really struggles with context. Unlike when you're in Chat GPT or Bing Chat, it's still helpful. I pro maybe it's just me. I mean. Give me comments, tell me what what I should have done to make it work better. So you can see the whole video, uh, links below, and I'm going to also get the GitHub repo out there. And um, 
yeah, leave comments, uh, contact me and yeah, thanks for watching.